You know, I turned on the news this morning and I heard that Noel Grealish TD had been asked to withdraw comments that he made in, uh, in Uchtarard in relation to a public meeting about immigration. This is a guy who's been a public servant all his life, quietly served as a TD, no controversies whatsoever. But the moment that he says what his local community are thinking in relation to a controversial issue like immigration, the great and the good are out there calling on him to resign, calling, calling on him to lose his seat, because he dared say what a lot of people in this country think. You talk about people like George Hook, who, magnificent broadcaster for 20 years or more, uh, 150,000 listeners, dares to say that maybe, just maybe, women should have regard to their personal safety when they're in public in case, through no fault of their own, they are attacked, driven off the airwaves, told that his career is finished, drummed out of polite society. You have Kevin Myers, somebody who for years was one of Ireland's most provocative and brilliant journalists, a strong supporter of Israel who, in a mistake, says something he regrets about Jewish people, his career is destroyed. All because the same clique, you know, this, this group of people who have decided that they're the guardians of what's acceptable thought in Ireland, decreed that their careers must be over. And you have a culture of fear in the country where people, if they want to say what they think, if they want to say, actually, I disagree in relation to something, maybe they don't think that a five-year-old boy should be turned into a five-year-old girl at that age. Maybe they don't think that we should have as many immigrants as we do. Maybe they take a different view to the majority of people on something like euthanasia, or gay marriage, or abortion. And they're terrified to say it because you never know who could lose their job next. That's not a country I want to live in. It's not a media I want any part of. You know, I watch Irish journalists operate all the time. And when Boris Johnson comes to town, or when Mike Pence comes to town, or when, God forbid, Donald Trump comes to town, these people get the fangs out. They're tough as nails. Boris Johnson, they say, you're destroying Ireland with your Brexit policy. Donald Trump, they say, how dare you come here after what you said about X, Y, or Z. But when they get Varadkar on his own, or when they get Micheál Martin on, on his own, where, where do those tough journalists go? I'll tell you where they go, they disappear. You know, we've got a health service in this country that's worse than it has been in my lifetime, despite twice as much money as there's ever been going into that health service. Where is our media? sitting there complimenting the Taoiseach on his socks. You know, we, we have scandals in relation to childcare. We have more people homeless than we've ever had before. And we have a news media that has absolutely no interest in covering any of those stories. But if they have a chance to showboat and condemn and attack and savage somebody who takes a different view than they do on the issues of the day, there they are. Well, we're different here at Grip. We're a media outlet that is built to serve and talk to those people and on behalf of those people who look around this country and feel, in many cases, like it's being run into the ground. Who look and visit an A&E, an A &E, find themselves sitting there for seven or eight hours at a time waiting to be, be, be seen and then turn on the media to see the Taoiseach standing there smiling and the media basically applauding him for standing up to Boris Johnson. You know, we need something different in this country at a whole, even much bigger level than what we can do here at Grit. But we're going to try. We want your support. We want your clicks. We want your views. Uh, because we're going to try and offer you something different to what you're having. Because at this day and age, in the country where it is, it's very badly needed.